Hey folks, hope you're having a great day. So this is a little bit of a different video. You're not, you normally see either like a mail day video or I'm ripping open some box or pack or something, but today I'm opening up a couple of complete sets, a couple of hobby sets from 2017 and 2018. And I'll tell you, I love retail or not retail, but factory sealed sets. Let me tell you why. So I've got some cards here and I have gotten to date six 2020 Tops uh, factory sealed sets, two hobby sets, four from Target that my wife found and sent me a picture and asked if I wanted them. I said, yeah, I grab them. But out of the 2020 hobby sets, you get, you get parallels out of any of these sets, whether they come from Walmart, Target, hobby, whatever the case may be. Uh, something I love about the sets is that one, you get at least you get one of every good rookie and the big chase in, of, of any of the hobby boxes, the, the sets really is, is the rookies. Uh, you're hopeful that you might get a good parallel, but typically you don't get a great parallel. So when you buy, let's say a 2020 series two hobby box, wax box, um, you know, the, really the only chase card in that is Luis Robert. Uh, I didn't get one in the one hobby box that I opened. And so after beyond that, beyond the Luis Robert, you're hoping to get some kind of autograph or a, a nice black out of 67 or 69, wherever they're numbered out of this year. Uh, typically, you'll get a relic card that's 3 to $5, maybe a common or a minor star parallel color card. Uh, so those boxes typically start out when they're first released for somewhere around 60 or $70, and they'll typically go up from there. With well, the hobby boxes, when they're released, they're fifty dollars, or any set, or I'm sorry, not hobby box, but hobby set or any sealed set, they're about fifty dollars if you can get them at MSRP, and they'll always have some kind of variation or parallel in them. The hobby sets have the foil board cards, and the retail sets this year they have gold sets, blue sets, uh, orange sets. You can get complete set variations. Just depends on where you get the set from. But out of the two hobby boxes I got, I got three foil board cards, three foil board, four, I'm sorry, three foil board rookies, uh, Zach Collins, Randy Dubnik, and uh, Michael Brosseau, who's having actually a really good year. But um, the, the chase for the foil boards are the rookies. But you also get typically really nice conditioned base cards. And so out of those two hobby sets, I got gradable, what I consider to be PSA 10 gradable cards, one of Robert, both Luxes, both Lewis's, both Alvarez's. I didn't get a PSA 10 candidate of Boba Shett, but you think about, I spent a hundred, I got those for my LCS for 65 plus tax each. So 70 bucks for each, uh, 140 for the two. I mean, this right now in a 10, even as after as bad of a September as he had, it's a $175 card. And that's probably $45, $50. He's selling, after another bad September, he's selling for $100. And a 10, he's selling for $45, $50. And then I got the foil board cards. So those came out of the two hobby sets that I got. These are the gradable cards that I got out of the four retail sets that I bought. Uh, those were 50 each plus tax from Target. Out of those, I got one of the robbers, I think is a 10. Three of the, I'm sorry, all four of the complete set variations, I think will be 10s. I got three of the Kyle Lewis's, uh, three of the four, I think will be 10s. All four of the Jordan Alvarez's, I think will be a 10, as well as three of the complete set variations. Two of the Gavin Luxes, two of the four. All four of the base Boba Shets, I think, will be a 10. Um, so you're looking at, you know, these will take four months, five months to get back to me from PSA, hopefully before the 2021 season starts. And hopefully these folks will have, a, or at least most of these folks will have a pretty decent spring training, assuming there is one, and season starts as it normally would in the same time frame. And so they'll get a little bit of a bump from the... Uh, the preseason bump right before the, the regular season starts when expectations are high and you know everybody's gambling on who's going to be the MVP and whatnot. But I love complete sealed sets for that reason, that you get the great condition base cards typically. Um, but there's great value in that. 
But today I'm going to be chasing the foil board cards. There should be a pack of five in each of these. One in the 2017, one in the 2018. Everyone knows in the 2018 you're chasing the Cunha, but that set has such good players in it. It's constantly performing. I mean, it's constantly giving good names. All right, so I know that all the 2017 rookies are in there. They're probably going to be in pretty good condition. We'll, we'll look at one. We'll just pull a random card here. Jake Odorizzi. Pretty good condition. It's a nice card. I got these from an auction house, by the way. So we're going to open these, this pack of floorboards. All right. Matt Adams. Christian Friedrich. Sean Kelly. J.A. Happ. And Enrique Hernandez, no great cards, not even really good cards, but I know that there are probably some Jim Mint rookies in that set. So, excited about that. And now on to the 2018. So, the whole point of this is basically to tell you that if you're into grading cards, specifically rookies, start looking at these sealed retails or these sealed sets. Okay, so I know there's a complete set variation. Uh, I wonder if he's the last card over here. Yeah, he is. Let me take him out. There's the Ronald Acuna Jr. And then we got the foil board cards. Not really worried if I don't get a big name out of here or even a minor star because I know I have a nice condition set. Got a Willie Calhoun rookie, which is interesting because I almost showed this when I was uh, talking, when I was going to talk about this, I almost showed this one and then I pulled this one. <laughs> so Willie Calhoun still has a chance to be in a, a, be in a power player. Power up, Delano De Shields, and the Drew Prom, uh, Pomeranz, but not horrible. Best part is getting all of these rookies, and a lot of them should be gradable. All right. So, Bolo, complete sealed sets, factory sealed sets. All right. Thanks, folks. Hope you had a great day. Hope you have a great tomorrow, and I'll see you soon.